Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have started rolling out their latest version of the Power Toys Utility app, version 0.62.0, which is now their latest release. And if you do use Power Toys, you can just click on check for updates, which will automatically update the app. Now, just in case you're unaware, but Microsoft Power Toys is a set of utilities that will help you to tune and streamline your Windows experience for greater productivity and is available for both Windows 10 and 11. And you can download the app from the Microsoft Store or you can head over to GitHub where you can download the installation file and install that manually. Now, version 62 is a major release because we get three brand new utilities. The first being Quick Accent, Screen Ruler, and then the third Text Extractor. And then over and above that, another key highlight according to the release notes is that Power Toys Run which is a quick launcher for your desktop, has now uh, been shipped with a new plugin letting you search in past query results. So that's a nice new plugin. If you do use uh, the Power Toys Run utility, letting you search your past query results. And then over and above the three new utilities and that um, plugin for Power Toys Run, version 62 comes bundled with numerous bug fixes and improvements. So if you have experienced any issues of late in the app, just check you're up to date. Now, just to focus on the three uh, new utilities for the purposes of this video. And the first one we're going to look at is the screen ruler utility, which is a quick and easy way to measure pixels on your screen. And I actually did post on this a couple of weeks ago when it was still in development. And now has finally made it to the latest release. Now, just to demonstrate, um, obviously, first of all, we need to um, toggle the utility on to be able to use it and then yeah we get the activation shortcuts which by default are your Windows Shift and M keys and you can have the option to edit that and yeah we get some behavior options which you can adjust to your own personal choice and preference and um, using Windows Shift and M that's going to activate uh, the uh, screen measuring tools and the first is bounds and then the next three Unfortunately, I can't show you because um, unfortunately my screen recorder is not capturing those measuring tools and unfortunately any a screenshot method I'm using is not being able to even capture a screenshot and I think it's because of the overlay that these, these three measuring tools are using which is um, causing that not to be captured by um, my screen recorder or any screenshot tool. So unfortunately, I do apologize for that, but I'm sure you'll get the general idea by the end of the video. But the one I can demonstrate is bounds. So to click on that, and this will measure the boundary around an object on your screen and also a text as uh, in this example, just to measure um, the boundary around objects and text on your screen. And there we can see the pixel measurement. And then the next one is your spacing which basically is a crosshair which places a horizontal and a vertical line in a crosshair which will let you measure that spacing between different objects on your screen using that crosshair and then the next one is horizontal spacing which will place a horizontal line between different objects on your screen and measure the pixels um, between those objects and then the fourth and final one uh, is your vertical spacing and um, just like the horizontal, this will just place a vertical line between an object and measure that vertically using that vertical line. And then you can just click on X and that will close out the tool. So I do apologize though for not being able to demonstrate those last three options. And then the next one we're going to have a look at is Quick Accent. And this new tool is an alternative way to type accented characters useful for when a keyboard doesn't support that specific accent. And once again, make sure it's toggled on. And yeah, you have your activation key, your, your toolbar position, and your behavior input delay in milliseconds. And just to demonstrate, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press A on my keyboard, and then we need to use the space key. So you press any key on your keyboard using the space key. And yeah, you can see the letter A now has different options for those accented characters. And then you can use your right arrow key on your keyboard and your left arrow key to navigate back and forth um, and that's the new quick accent tool and then the third and final new utility is the text extractor and i actually also posted on this a couple of weeks ago when it was still in development and text extractor is a convenient way to copy text from anywhere on the screen so it's very similar to a snipping tool and just to demonstrate once again just make sure it's toggled on and then the activation shortcut which you can edit by default is, is Windows Shift and T. So once again, Windows Shift and T. 
and yeah you can see very similar to a, a, sc a screen snipping tool and once again I'm just going to capture that text and then that will copy that once captured to clipboard and then you can go refer back to the clipboard to that copied text or any part of your screen that you have copied using the text extractor um, for future reference. So that's what's more or less new in version 62, which as mentioned is a major release, bringing numerous bug fixes and improvements. That new plugin uh, to PowerToys run, and then of course the three brand new tools, uh, Quick Accent, Screen Ruler, and the text, ex text Extractor. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.